name is Chip Ganassi. I'm a lifelong Pittsburgher. You know, I've been racing one thing or another since I was probably five years old. Go-karts, uh, snowmobiles, dirt bikes. I had what some people would characterize as a fossil fuel fired youth. It sort of come naturally to me to be involved in some form or another of motorsports my whole life. Been very fortunate, lucky to do that. It's brought me to many places around the world and many experiences that I like to bring back to Pittsburgh for everyone else to enjoy. Probably 25 years ago, my relationship with the university began. We pull on each other's talents or help from time to time. Today we welcomed Chip Ganassi onto campus. We were lucky enough to give him a tour of our garage where we assemble our vehicle. I think one of the most powerful things about meeting Chip is understanding that he's just a normal guy that loves racing. And all the wisdom that comes along with that is a result of him basically starting out as a young kid, working his way all the way up to the top and keeping that persona all the way through. As a child, I always just dreamed of, of, of racing as a career, even as late as 21 or 22 years old, I thought that had no chance of happening. I was just very lucky to bump into the right person at the right time, and I made a few steps that were integral in my future. If, if there's one thing I could say to young people today, it would be don't ever count yourself out because you put yourself in a position for luck to strike you. I found racing to be a microcosm of life, if you will. It has all the ups and downs compacted into a weekend, or compacted into a season, or compacted in a period of time. I just think it's an industry that touches all parts of the world and just teaches you a program for me from beginning to end. How a vehicle of any sort is built or starts out in some stage of thought first and then to build it, to race it, to win with it, and then to win a championship with it is a process that parallels a lot in life, I think lots going on in the area of uh, propulsion. And then you have lots going on in the area of autonomous. These make it for a very interesting time in the transportation business. And ultimately out of that comes racing. And racing will drive some of that technology in which direction. I think that there's much more to the automobile industry than point A to point B. With all the talk of autonomous and self-driving vehicles, we've shifted the thought that we're just going from point A to point B. There's so much more to the industry that doesn't get talked about. And I think there's a wide open area of opportunity. I think that's important to point out to students to see how that team has grown to the performance level they're at today. It's very exciting for me because I like to think I had a little something to do with that at the start that sparked them to have the performance they have today. I think that the biggest thing that we've learned from Chip is it's just important to learn from your wins as it is from your losses. Uh, Chip's a big fan of winning and how to continue to push yourself even whenever you are the leader in your own division. We won races all over the world. We won some pretty big races all over the world and continue to do so. Along with each and every one of those different formulas that we're in come a whole new list of engineering challenges we face and, and problems to solve. What a better place to start doing that than here at CMU.